Sometimes time plays an important role in uh, in, in strategic situations. Uh, things take step uh, one after the other, and not only do they do, but the actors know that they will, and that influences how they behave. So the year was 1519, and Hernán Cortés, Spaniard, was leading a flotilla of uh, 11 boats and about 600 men about to invade uh, a continent later to be known as America. They were vastly outnumbered and were well aware of the uh, of the uh, heavy odds they were facing. And um, as is famously known, um, as they landed, Cortez uh, ordered uh, that all the boats be burnt. There's some controversy whether this was done in complete coordination and agreement with his men or it was sprung on them. But either way, it's clear what the logic behind it uh, was. The uh, Cortez, Cortez knew that uh, as they faced these daunting odds, the uh, men would be tempted to turn back, uh, board the boats, and, and flee. And by removing that option, uh, that uh, increased their uh, fighting resolve uh, going forward. And so, uh, again, there's not only the fact that time passes between actions, but that one reasons about that fact and impacts how the strategic situation unfolds. We see it not only when there are multiple agents uh, involved, but even uh, in a single decision maker here. It's not only Cortez and his men, the two actors, or the two, the, the set, the two sets of actors who are uh, somehow actions are intertwined, but uh, even when there's a single actor, the fact that time unfolds can impact the situation. Here's another famous historical tale, in this case of Ulysses and the Sirens. Ulysses is uh, captaining his boat and about to pass through the uh, Straits of the Sirens. And uh, as is commonly known, the Sirens' song are so seductive that they would uh, uh, cause any person, in particular Ulysses, to do things that are in his own, uh, not, not in his own best interest. He would jump into the sea, he would crash the boat against the, the rocks. And so what he does, um, according to the tale, he orders all his men to first put wax in the ears so they will not be seduced by the song. He himself, uh, who in fact wants to hear the song, knowing that he would not be able to uh, withstand the seduction, uh, orders his men to tie him to the mast, and should he possibly uh, get free from the from the uh, ties, uh, to restrain him uh, with his swords, and 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 so and so so it comes to pass, uh, they sail through the strait. Um, when they when he hears the siren song, he goes temporarily insane and tries to uh, escape from the bonds and fails, and uh, all is good. So here again is a single actor, in this case Ulysses, reasoning about the future, thinking about what will the situation be, and taking action now to impact what the strategic situation will look like in the future. To model such situations, we turn to games in extensive form, as the term is called, sometimes simply known as game trees.